I get bigger. Oh! Ah, I lost the microphone! Come here! Ah, you finally see it. <laughs> Actually, this wasn't even bad. The, the, the drive from Ohio to here was 20 hundred times worse. 20 hundred times. 20 hundred. Yeah, 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 20 hundred. That's, <laughs> dude, we're getting there. We're getting tired. But let me just show you this. We've been driving since we left Mike's house with this on. Right now, we only had one pump running two. Look at this. Still fully charged. This, like I said, this is a life savior. I'll put the information down in the description for you guys to see. I would not do another rescue without this. Big Rich actually showed me this thing. This is actually Josh. We got to ship it back to him. It's heavy, but it's worth every single penny. We could have ran three sentient cords, even more stuff, and, and the fish would have been perfectly fine. I haven't been in there yet, so let's go check it out, see how they're doing. And this tank would have the, look at that, bro. They're looking perfect. Not breathing heavy, slow breathing, just chilling. The water's good. So, what I'm trying to liquor here, do you remember if this ray I know the disc was already missing, but did it have those bite marks? No, it did okay, not. Okay, so we're going to have to separate her because otherwise the other ones will kill it. There's yeah. already a basket in there, so we'll just put her in a basket. Okay, yeah, it definitely didn't have the yeah, bites. Yeah, I, I don't remember that either. Mm -hmm. Now let's go here, get some of these boxes out. From here, they all look good. From now on, we will not do another rescue or picking up our fish or any fish for that matter without this thing and the oxygen pump. You see right there, that little hose is producing 100% oxygen. So they have the aeration from the pump plus the 100% oxygen. These fish, we could have went to a hotel, spend the night, and they would still be alive the next day. Oh, dude, come check this out. They're doing yeah. great. Oh, they're good? Yeah, they're both, good. both of us can't fit back there. So nope. Huge, right? Yeah. The, so The Gar and the Phantom. They're, they're keepers, so we're gonna, we, for pro night, we're gonna have to keep them, we're gonna have to keep them, we're gonna keep on work. Now, Sugar's here trying to help out. You ready, baby? You ready to work? I know you're ready. <laughs> but let me show you somebody else that's ready to work. Let's go. Kosh! She's ready to work. But I wasn't even hey. talking about Kosh. What time is it? What time is it? Go to breakfast after this, right? Oh. 3 a.m. Okay, 3 a.m. We'll probably be down about 5. Now, let me show you somebody else that's ready to work. Watch out, Sugar. Whoa, whoa. Where is <laughs> What the hell is that? That was a It's still on you. Oh, it's in your arm! It's in your arm! It's in her arm! She's just running. It's right here, look, right here. No, but I was serious, it wasn't her arm. Alright, I know. I guess now we know how to now we know how to really mess with Kosh. You're gonna have to cut that off. I know. Look, you she's just like me with mosquitoes, right? Look at that. Oh, there he is. Come here, boy. Come here. Oh. Come here, Tank. Come here. Head, dude. I think. <laughs> oh, he went the other <laughs> he way. Took the other way. Come here, buddy. Look, Tank, he hears us. Tank, come here. Come here. The problem with this building echoes. So we yeah. hear our voice in different directions. Come here. Ah, you finally see it. <laughs> so look at this. Wow. The tail started swinging. Happy dog moving around. Right? Would and you like this a month ago? No. So for those of you who said, Stop making the dog suffer, put him down, tree put you down. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Happy dog. Oh, oh, I should, sorry. Sugar was actually a big uh, part of that too. She was pushing <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god, forget it. So right now <laughs> Okay, too happy, dude, too happy. <laughs> right now he's about 90% recovered. Yeah. He still have a little bit of problem seeing, but he can see us, he can he comes back to his name like I was talking to Matt about it. Maybe he's, <laughs> his mind just turned back into a puppy, but he knows his name, so he knows what's going on. I think it's just little by little. He should be 100% in no time, but just to see what he was a month ago to what he's now, yeah. when they told me that uh, he was going to be dead. Look at him now. He ain't dead. It's just to see him wagging his tail. dad's dead, then I'm dead. Yeah. So we got the good news going. Now it's time to get the fish out. We already separate the tubs for the race. So all the rays are going to go in that tub and the monster fish, we don't have a, a really place for them yet. 
So after moving the rays, we're gonna take that white container, bring it over here, put the fish in it, leave it for the night, acclimate them, because I believe that that big alligator gar and the big phantom, if we put them in here, they don't a cause lot of fish trouble. are gonna, yes, a lot of fish are gonna uh, hurt with that. That phantom can totally swallow the peacocks, the small catfish. No way. They are one. Oh, dude, it's huge. That phantom is like and almost no, double no, the he's double. Yeah, he's definitely almost double him for sure. So but whole, whole, like just whole, swallow, swallow, gone. Wow. Yes. That's... So uh, we can't do that. The tiger fish, the dorado, and the alligator gar. We're gonna smack people and just take chunks out of it and kill them. So we're gonna lose a lot of fish if we put them here. Okay, okay. We're probably gonna have to build something else, maybe another tank set up just to get them, you know, in a tank. But for now, we're gonna acclimate them into that big round tub. We're not doing any more rescues anytime soon. I think the next thing rays we're picking up, we're probably gonna just ship them back because they're smaller rays. So it works. But right now we have a lot of work to do. Matt, you might wanna pass the camera to Cash. You don't want her carrying these. Time to get started. Let's do this. You want the big one or you want to start the smaller ones? Well, yeah, I'm gonna need help on the big one. Yeah. Dude, we need a vacation, bro. We're gonna be like, Kevin, we already picked up a bunch of stingrays. Now it's vacation time. You stay here, we go. This one's huge, Kosh. You can lift it by yourself, bro? I don't know. Now that it can expose my muscles. I'm literally not. All right, let me have you there. Okay. Here, go down, go down. It's too heavy. Look, Kosh, don't get scared, don't get scared. It's huge, it's huge. <laughs> right, put him in a tent. <laughs> she actually got a little scared, she was backing up. Another male, beautiful male. Watch the tail, bro, watch the tail. Oh, yeah. I don't want to learn that one the hard way. Mama won't be stoked on that. Right? Didn't Kevin tell us something about noodles? Was it, were you there for that one with the noodles? No, I wasn't. Well, I guess like it would be this one. I mean, don't don't listen to me. I for sure ain't the stingray daddy, but Kevin's the stingray daddy. Those look like noodles to me. Oh. What are you getting bigger and bigger each grab? Yep. Watch that tail. We're gonna keep the tail that way. It's a beautiful man. A little one. He's a big boy. Compared to the, the one I'm giving you next. Oh, that wasn't the biggest? Oh, we haven't even seen it yet. Look at that bird. They're huge, bro. Huge. Aww. Hey, bud. Noodles. Kevin will swing it. Guys, this is a big, big sting rig. I almost want to measure it so you guys can have an idea how big this is. But this net is pretty big, and watch, you're gonna take that whole size of it. Here, grab that side. It's huge. Oh. She literally took the whole tub. Beautiful, beautiful. Brazilian Motoro. Good girl. This thing sucks. She's humongous. You need help? We can come with you. Good? We're good. I've eaten that. I got my mama. Wow. In the water, it looks bigger. The yeah. water makes everything. Oh, that's a big break. All right, we're going to go ahead and empty this out and jump into the monster fish. Boy, oh boy. Right now, it's time for the monsters. Boy. That's an awfully long stick, boy. I was trying to get it all on frame. <laughs> Why do you think less of matter in your mouth? Uh -huh. Right now we gotta take the fish we're keeping to put in that tub. Let's we'll start with this big cloud eye. Oh shoot! He just wanted to go. That was all him? Right. Yeah. Wow. He's a thick boy. He's powerful, yeah. Yep. Look how fat. That's a that's a chunky boy right there. He was eating good. I Pretty didn't think size. they got this big. They get bigger. All right, there's some big boys over here, so. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna have to muscle up. Yeah. Oh, we should just give her the big one. Right? Go All straight right. for it. Straight for it. All right, it's a little one. It's a little one, don't worry about it. Nothing to worry. It's a 
little one, it's a little one. Can you get him up and over? Uh, Clean. <laughs> what do you think about this guy? That's a big dude. That's a big dude. That's a big dude, dude. All right, now this guy right here, believe it or not, he should be the same size as that one, but it's a short body. <laughs> Whoa! He just farted out of his mouth. Let's run. <laughs> Why is that such a funny noise? It's like, oh, they got the same size head, but the rest of their body don't match. Yeah. What do you got? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> sorry, that was my fault. Holy <laughs> oh, Not used to working with these big things. Is that little screen Matt or you? That was Matt. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Call me out like that. All right, this I gotta expose you. This morning you have to be fast with this guy. Uh -oh. Got it. Ah, I'm close to my crotch. Go, go, go. Ah, he was close to my crotch. <laughs> wow. You almost can't even see him in there. Dude, it's crazy because you see him, you know, the tail's a little pinkish from, from the, the gnat. Two days, he'll be perfect. Okay, the other guys, we're not gonna keep because we don't have space for everybody. We're probably gonna donate them to a, an aquarium or anything like that. But right now we gotta move them out so we can enter this pond. So we gotta find a, a big bag or a big container to put them in so we can drain that one out. 